Excellent. All right, so first question, why McCain Pizza? What is your love of McCain Pizza? Well, I'm very familiar with McCain because my husband's from Toronto, so I always know about McCain fries. We love them. And then when I heard about the pizza, I'm a big pizza fan, but I'm a scrutinizer pizza fan. I was like, bring it on, let me taste it. I was like, frozen pizza, that never works out. I've never had one work out. Um, so I tasted it, and I was like, oh my gosh. And I said, Dean's actually in culinary school now. I said, you got to try this. I'm like, you're going to love this. And it tasted like we had literally like picked vegetables in our garden, and we had like created a pizza on a pizza stone and made a pizza. And um, I was like, this is really delicious. And it was delicious. It was, I could taste the fresh ingredients. Um, and most importantly, my kids loved it. So how does that something like that happen? Because you see a lot of celebrities endorsing things, and you always wonder, you know, whether they like what they endorse. But you truly do. So how does all of that come to be? I, I mean, I don't do something if I don't love it. It's just one of my things. Um, we have a store at home in Sherman Oaks, and it's also online. Every product we carry in that store we actually use and have in our house. And I'm just a big believer in that. Um, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a fan of a lot of things. If I'm a fan of something, I'm a fan forever. So. Okay, and before, and before, by the way, we're going to try the pizza. We're going to have some fun at the okay. end of our interview. I have a quick contest for you and I. Okay. Hopefully you win. Okay. <laughs> I also want to touch on something that I read recently, because as a gay man, I love your boobs. So why do you regret the decision to do that? Because I don't regret boob, them. Boobs scare me. Boobs scare me, but yours are just great. I do not regret doing them. I think that interview was misconstrued. Um, she was referring to something I read about in my book, saying that it... Uh, produce as much milk, this is awkward to have this conversation with you, uh, breastfeeding. I'm gay, it's okay. Because, because of uh, breast milk. And I said if I had known that I couldn't, you know, adequately feed my baby that way, I probably wouldn't have done it. But aesthetically, I don't regret it. And I think they look great. So I don't have regrets. It's, it's a different thing. So I want to find out from you, because you've had two children, you're having your third, and you look phenomenal. Uh, you look so great. What is your routine afterwards to get to get back into shape? What do you do? Uh, gosh, eat healthy, work out. There's, you know, there's no mystery to it. It's just, you know, you do the basic stuff that you're supposed to do, and it works. Yeah, I should try that. Pretend <laughs> I'm having it because look, I got a food baby. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I want to find out something, because I ask a lot of really dumb questions to pregnant women. So I've made a list of Maury's top five dumbass pregnancy questions. Okay. So I want to find out from you what your answers are, because I can't think of anyone better to answer these questions. Okay. Number one, okay, um, you should never wear heels when you're pregnant. Are these true or false questions? Just what you thought. I, I don't know. <laughs> I prefer not to wear heels. Um, I have heels on today because I'm at an event. But no, I never wear heels when I have to go to an event. Flats are better. Okay, when you pee, how do you know if it's you peeing or the baby pee? <laughs> uh, I would assume it's me peeing. If it's the baby peeing, that, That's just weird. that might mean it's time and the baby's half out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. The next one is: New moms tend to leak milk if they hear the sound of a baby. I have heard that. That never happened to me, but I have heard that. You've heard that. Okay. And I saw. It. I've seen it on TV. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, it's best to cover your belly with a shirt or a blanket often, as bright light can hurt the baby's retinas. I've never heard that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are, again, things I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, sing and talk as much as possible so that the baby learns your voice. I think that's true. I don't know if it works or not, but I, you just want to connect because you feel the baby inside of you. So I talk to the baby all the time. My kids talk to the baby. My husband talks to the baby. Maybe baby talking better than singing? Because I, I can't sing, so I don't you don't want your baby to be toned Okay. And um, you can't have sex when you're pregnant because you might poke the baby. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess Lee and Stella would have a lot of holes in them. 